moment. But first, let's find out more about Aerotype 11. We're from the hardcore punk scene, which is kind of what we all grew up on, but we also listen to a lot of like James Addiction, stuff like that, you know, Nirvana. We're basically children of the early 90s. America seven times. We toured Europe twice. We have two full-length albums out, uh, two EPs, um, and a host of compilation tracks. Living in a city like New York City, as you can tell, behind you, you can imagine how crowded it is. Being in a band is like a great way to release. A lot of that. I mean, look, I'm wet. I just came from practice. I'm soaked. I let it all out. I love playing in Britain, minus all the pressure of like guest lists and all that other crap in clubs that don't do what you want them to do. Because I'm a spoiled rock star who's a little bitch and needs everything taken care of for him. <laughs> when do I get my free drinks? That's what I See, that's the other thing that people say about us is that we're a bunch of drunks, which see, we're just trying to bring back the '80s. You know what I mean? Like when rock and roll seemed like it was fun. You guys know what this song's about? Let's do it right now. We're just, we're brothers, and, and like brothers, you, you get along great, and you know, you can finish each other's sentence at the same time you want to kill each other in the next second. Sockets at 3.30. I'm not showing up before 8 o'clock. Why, why? Um, okay, cool. So, so basically, is, are they going to pay for my day off from work? Because that would be cool. It's just kind of like you work so much that you get like that 45 minute high. I was listening to this quicksand record today. It was like, wow, like I, it just, it totally changed my life, that band. And like, it was like, I wish I could do that for someone else. Here they are performing, there's a place. Let's hear it for 